definitely not going outside to do that. Who knows what's in that? Dang. Now I need you to swim away. Oh man. Off the street. Off the street. Let's, Let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him up fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch him up. Yeah guys, I was going to do a lot of digging today, but unfortunately, it just started raining. I don't know how much that thing is going to fill up, but the camera's fogging up a little bit. We got a lot of work to do. Uh, the ducks are enjoying it, but uh, I can't say I am. I don't know. Oh god. Yeah. Definitely not going outside to do that thing. Yep, it's raining again, and as you guys can tell, it's flooding again. A lot. We didn't get to continue digging, and our pond is completely overflowed. But that trench, as you guys can see, when it stops raining, if it does, uh, oh, calm down. We're going to explore what's going on. There's a bunch of stuff that looks like it washed up over here. Oh my goodness. We're going to check it out though as soon as we can. I'm pretty sure that I see something swimming. Right, like I could have sworn I saw something right there already. As you guys know, that is connected to the lake. That's a large body of water, but we're going to see what swims up here. We were only able to catch one of those koi before it started pouring on us. I don't know, guys. <laughs> it's pretty crazy out here in South Florida, but hopefully we get the chance to to go back to to seeing what's out here seeing what's out there soon those koi i mean honestly this would just bring more water fresh water to that koi we already got one of them hopefully the other ones are still out there somewhere but we're gonna look we're definitely gonna look oh my gosh okay guys this is my beautiful wife jordan and this is my wonderful beloved uncle mark my mother's beloved oldest brother of two my uncle richie's coming tomorrow but this right. is uncle mark he is a warrior a fighter look at the tenaciousness on his face look at those shoes. look at the beauty. <laughs> he's ready to go this is for you oh. you shall be catching all today what's this for this is for jumping in <laughs> into the pond we need to move some monsters today so you're gonna actually have to take off your boots you might want to fight find a little bit of dry ground or do something oh, yeah. like that yeah. So guys, what we're doing today is you already know, Jordan and I went and caught a giant, gigantic Haku. <laughs> oh yeah, Super Mario up. And we have to get them out because unfortunately, these guys do like to chew once they get comfortable. He's not comfortable yet. But we're gonna see how big this thing actually is. And we're also gonna get this Tambaki out that Joey gave us, he's a beautiful guy, but he's gonna, keep company with these guys as you can see they're swimming together just monsters monsters and magnificent monsters at that but we have to get them out oh my god this air one is growing so big <laughs> already ready 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 let me get you the net actually you can do it you got it we're gonna get just the red one just a little red one thank you beautiful lemon yeah! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Okay, so this is Nuggy. We caught that bad boy not far. We caught most of these fish, including the giant Paku. Remember that Paku are ball biters. You got those things tucked away? Uh, no, this is a uh, Waldorf Astoria pants. Yeah, you'll be all right. You know what that means? <laughs> no. No ballroom. <laughs> Fortunately, his balls might be a little close. <laughs> To those jaws. Balls and jaws. All right, yeah, get in there. Get in there. <laughs> Woo! Okay, one step at a time. One step at a time. Nice. Are these waterproof? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, Jordan, you're actually gonna help him out today. Me? Yeah, yeah, you. So we're gonna get the smaller pocket first. <laughs> Ooh, the these bad boys, you're coming after my toes. Oh yeah, be careful because their pectoral, their pectoral fins can slice your Achilles if you're not careful. There is one in here that you really have to be careful of called the uh, Ripsaw Catfish because it's literally just a serrated armored catfish and he's over here and he's getting really big. That's him over there. 
really, really monstrous. No, I swear. I swear on my life. Like <laughs> it, it rips. You can't even catch him with the net because he rips right through the net. And don't touch him with your hands for sure. He's right here. He's completely serrated. The, no, like, I get all these details once I get into <laughs> yeah. it. It's, You'll be good. You got just, this. You got this. So what we're trying to catch though is actually behind you. You see that guy in the corner? That half and half. That guy that's swimming to the right. That guy right there. Yep. yep. The little one? Yep, the little one. That's all you got to catch. He's fast. Yeah, yeah. Look at the confidence. He's fast. He's fast. Head first. Yep. It's the way. You know the... Oh, he's fast. He is the fastest in the land. Oh, my God. There you go. There you go. Maybe I'm going to have to ask you to step off the side here. Oh, you got him? No way, look at that speed. Okay, keep him in the water, keep him in the water. That is awesome, okay baby, this is what you're gonna have to do. Are you ready? You're gonna have to grab that net on either side. Oh! <laughs> on either side of it, right? Grab that net on either side of it and we're gonna have to jump in the back of the truck, okay? You got this, you got this. Yeah, you got this. Tire him out, way to go. Yep. Way to go! Look how fast my uncle is! Genetics coming through! Okay, so you grab both sides of that net and lift it up over over the pool. You got this. You've been in the gym. Yeah, both sides. Just like that. Just like that. And walk right to walk right to the right to the truck. There you go. There you go. Oh you got this. You got it. Don't, don't let him get hurt. Don't let him get hurt. You got this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You got this. Take a step. You got this. You got this. I believe in you. Yep. Yep. Get him in there. Get him right in there. That's great practice. Now get his head out. There you go. There you go. Get him out. Get him out of the net. Just flip the net up. You got it. I know it's a little difficult with that with that piping in there. Get her out. Yep. Force it out. Yep. Lift it up. You got it. There you go. Good job, kiddo, good job. Hey, my uncle's in there, ready for round two. Let's do it. Round two, no cuts, we don't need cuts. <sighs> I'm proud of you guys, that was so fast. That was faster than I do it. All right, Unc, that was a little one. I'm soaked. <laughs> yeah, you're a little bit, a little bit drenched. That was the first one, that was a little one. So now, we gotta get Mondo. Where's Mongo? Which Mongo. One is, is that in the corner? Yep, here? yep. You already know. He's not gonna want to get caught. Oh my God! You almost had him. Oh, he's so big. Push him out to the to the open to get a look at him. <laughs> yeah, get him away from the other fish. Yeah, and get a look at him. There you go. There you go. Heard that thing. Heard that bison. There you go. Scoop him head first. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, 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 oh. Do it again. Oh, you got him. Okay. This is the same thing, Jordan. Me? Yep, you got this. You got this. Hold that thing up. And it's the whole, the whole one foot up on the tailgate thing. <laughs> No. Okay, you got this? It's not ready at all. Okay, you gotta grab both sides. Both sides, just, just oh. like that. Oh, there goes the net. It's all right, don't worry about it. Hold on, hold on, you got this. It's still good. Keep it moving, keep it moving. I'm trying. You got this. So you got this, you got this. Just don't let his head hit anything. You're good. You good, buddy? You got this. I okay. can't get up there. I believe in you. No, I really can't. Okay, ready together, we'll do it. Ready? Ready? Up and over. Up and over. There you go. Now what? That's it. Get his head out. Oh. Push it around. You got no. this. Push it around. You got this. No. <laughs> you got this. Here. Here, let me see. Mm -mm. Let me see. There it is. Only a little bit heavy. The fish was a little bit heavy, just kind of. Kind of bent the net out a little bit, but these guys are good, super healthy. Now we're gonna turn on, do me a favor and go, uh, actually I gotta turn, turn on the truck myself, but we're good. We're good to go. Can I get out? <laughs> yeah, you can get out, Uncle Mark. Yeah, 
Yeah, as a fat fish, if you can see, he bent the net just a little bit, a little bit fat, a little bit fat. Way to go, Super Mario, Super Mario, Uncle Mark. Yeah, 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 yeah! Give me some skin. Way to go! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thank we you. did it. That helped. All right, Ooh, now we got to get those Jordan. things. We got to do that two more times on the on the other side. Ooh. Oh, where over there? Over there. All right, guys, time to assess the damage. And ah, uh, it rained out here a lot. We put up some curtains, we sat in a jacuzzi, watched it rain, guys. And when I say it rained, it rained. As you can see, that whole area is flooded to death back there. Luckily, I secured everything together and it can't float away. Otherwise, our whole, our whole <laughs> ecosystem, everything we built would be floating out to sea right now. But what I'm going to do is i want to see how far this lake actually goes back this is looking like this is looking like it might go all the way to the front yard oh my gosh wait a second this is the pond we started building when i say i'm quite sure that there are some fish in that there's probably turtles fish this is this is this is insane like this is this is making me speechless i mean this is the lake so fish turtles anything can literally swim along the fence line my yard's pretty good but along the fence line they could swim and that when i that's like six inches of water that is solid and look at the front oh my god guys this is insane insane right now six inches solid of water wow wow that is insane right now this is quite quite crazy but this also goes back there when i was telling you guys is flooded with the koi and I even saw a comment. I had the comments off for a sec, for a second, um, because there was some psycho. But I turned all the comments back on. I said, "Forget it. Let the psycho talk. You guys know better." There is a lot of water that goes through my neighbor's yard, and that's where we were literally just driving. Look how deep it is. Look how deep it is. So fish move back and forth, and when I say they could be back here. I was not joking. We've literally seen them swim through here. This is a lake now. <laughs> we were just driving back there. We're gonna take a walk. Oh my gosh. There is a great blue heron. Looks like a tilapia or something already started nesting right there. Fish are swimming in and out. There's some fish in the distance over there. I don't think you guys can see them this is now a completely over flooded pond and look how deep it is back here oh my gosh oh my goodness this is absolutely insane this is like a foot and a half almost two feet deep back here and if you guys remember from the last video we literally just drove over here with the atv and now we are underwater and that's why there's eels and so many things back there. I'm sure there's going to be so much to find once this dries up a little bit. If it dries up a little bit. But this wraps all the way around the house. And that's the canal we were finding the eels. And they, luckily for us, they cleared it up on the other side. Because they're doing something. They're making like a business over there. But man, this is absolutely incredible. Look how much water is back here. Now, I have waders and we're gonna walk back here. Once my wife is ready to go, I'm gonna slap on waders and we're gonna explore every little inch of this water and see if we can catch, see if we can put it back in the deeper water because unfortunately, when all this stuff dries, it's screwed, that's the end. I mean, look at it. Look at that, it goes on and on and on. That's all water all the way down the yard. It's just li literally half a foot of water, maybe a foot in some places and a foot and a half 
in in some places as well this is really deep this is like this is like almost two feet this yard is a little bit lower all the way up to their house if you can see back over there it's pretty incredible so oh my gosh oh yeah there's some moving there's some there's something big that's moving along the fence line way over there let's see if we can focus in there's a nice wake coming towards us so that usually means there's a group of fish I see little ripples here and there I'm positive without a shadow of a doubt that we will find fish turtles etc in here when we start looking once she starts moving up and then uh, once we get our breakfast in we're gonna definitely explore but this is just incredible to see all this water happen literally almost overnight it was like two days but you guys can see now this is where we found the eels not too long ago oh my gosh dude oh my gosh and this goes all the way back and now it's all connected where we found those koi fish so i don't know where those koi fish are gonna be now this koi fish could be in england <laughs> but yeah mr duck how are you guys doing today you guys doing good see if you can find me some fish this is absolutely incredible we've already made a video a long time ago catching fish literally here in the grass you know what might be cool look there's fish already coming in the grass i see him see him moving through saw the other one yep there's some fish way back by our pond areas our pond areas are completely underwater that is sick but luckily the water line for the ponds are nice and high which I'll, we'll see in a second i'm gonna grab my waders we're gonna walk back there but you'll the, all the fish are secure in there that, that's perfectly fine but our pond that we dug we need a bigger wall as you can see that wall is almost tall though actually just tall enough and so was this one but we just started digging and then it started raining <laughs> but now everything that we took out of that hole is definitely back in the hole <laughs> all it takes is one good flood and i can guarantee you there's tons of stuff in this little deeper part of the water fish love deeper pockets so we're gonna have to definitely push out everything that we end up catching by accident once this water recedes but i'm gonna get my waders out and we're gonna walk around first we're gonna check to see how everything's doing over there make sure everything's okay uh i want to see in the front yard i want to really look around the neighbors because this lake goes all the way literally wraps around the front and let's see what we can catch out here I already see fish starting to move turtles starting to move i'm pretty excited about today guys you know what i'm gonna do for fun i saw it rain to drag this thing up here i am gonna throw some food i gotta feed our fish anyway but uh, what's up baby i know you guys want some here you can have some here you can have some first bites um yum yum you can have first bites my baby but i'm gonna see if we can get some fish going over here in the pond stuff like that kind of like a in-ground fish trap let's see can't get the food out too far but that'll do i mean it is blowing that way so maybe i should throw a little closer but throw some fish food out see if we can get the fish chummed up That'd be pretty cool. I know, guys. I know, I know, I know. I'm excited, too. Yep. Okay. Don't want to miss any action. Let me see. I should be rolling on this end, too. Can you see yourself? Yeah. Looking pretty. Okay, guys. We got two nets today. We got the mega net, and we got this net. Now, depending on what we see and what we're navigating through, I'm going to use one of these nets. Obviously, if we're in bigger, deeper water, I'd love to use this net because, man, that thing is huge. But check out what's behind us, man. This is insane. We're just having so much fun out here, Jordan and I. You know, it, it, it's, it's pretty wild to just see that your whole landscape completely changed night and day. That pond, all the ponds are completely underwater over there. And it's just ridiculous. But what we did not do, we're, we're gonna explore and all of this backwater behind the pond, behind all this over here. Thought it was a seal. <laughs> A <laughs> seal got washed up into our lake, guys. So, anyway, that's the goal right now. We're just going to see what we can catch. What swam up in here? What came out of people's ponds? There's a ton of people with in ground ponds now, and all the fish from them have swam all over the place. That's why this keeps 
all these random seemingly invasive dropped fish because all of these ponds come together when the water levels rise as you can see right here we're building our own and i started to build the wall and now you guys know why i started to build that wall i would not be surprised if there's something big in this little section right here but what i really want to do is i want to check back here come on but whatever we see like i said we're definitely gonna definitely gonna jump on oh my god This whole area is just completely flooded, even in the front. You see, if you see movement, I'm not going to use this one. If you see movement, that's when you pounce, obviously. I'm going to see if I can get back here. It's really windy. Now I'm wearing my waders because I know it's waist deep. You don't have to come back here, babe. Just, you know, get close enough. Something out. It's crazy. It goes so far. It goes all the way to the main water. Where'd you go? <laughs> So this is a whole canal that goes back and forth all the way to the major canals and uh, it doesn't have any escapes to this lake but it's just like a ditch and it goes down to the major canals far far away. So in the rain, this is like the highest rain that we've ever had ever, ever. So it's crazy, both this year, sorry, we had two of the highest rainstorms in like 20, 48 hours like ever of all time so this is crazy and there's little fish all over the place but I want to see if there's anything solid we know that there's eels in here and things that have low level of things that can survive low levels of oxygen but I definitely want to see if I can walk over there and see what we can find there's a ton of fish going that way Just be careful because it does get deep bro okay and I can film everything with the GoPro don't worry about capturing the shot I want you to go swimming. Oh my god. Is that a peacock? Let's pull out. I have the waders on now, guys. Yeah, just use the zoom. I see him. We're filming on this thing, right? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, dude, there's a school of them. Oh, this guy's trying to run now. This is part of the lake now. Our backyard is the lake. He's running. No, I don't know if I'll be able to scoop this thing. But look, they're swimming into the back waters. There's tilapia. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm right here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch these things, but I'm sure gonna try. I think they're gonna go backwards. I don't think I got anything. Nope. But we did see him, I don't know. If you can stop filming, I'm good, yeah. I will go this path alone. There's tilapia and stuff all underneath our little bridge and stuff. Wow. Oh my god. There's a, literally a walking catfish right here. I'm looking at him. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him. Gotta go slow. Slow and steady usually runs the race. Okay. Got him. No. no. Got him. <laughs> Start filming. Hey, look at that car. <laughs> There's a walking catfish sitting over there. Hold on. You guys good? Hello, Pucky. Hello. 
You guys are good. All right, great. I'm coming. Let me see. I could probably scoop something else with this. You're probably, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Look at our bridge. Look at our chair. <laughs> our bridge and our chair floating. That doesn't look too good. Look at this. I literally caught a fit. Literally caught a fish where we're standing. <laughs> that is ridiculous right now. Come on. Another one. Literally. Oh my God. It ran away. They're all, all the walking catfish are back here for some reason. Oh my God. Well, we got, oh crap. Look, there's sloppy, we're spooking them out. I couldn't even see them, they're underneath the bridge. Dang it. Well, not too bad. <laughs> we definitely, we got one. There's a bunch of walking catfish and tilapia, peacocks, largemouth. I'm sure there's gonna be gar in here and everything. I even threw food out today. I still see food on the bottom. It's probably cause it's been a little bit chilly, but yeah. It's pretty crazy out here that this was just literally like in, way over there. Let's see where the fence is. The fence was not even in the water, not even touching the water. And now all this is underwater. We just dug this pond, if you saw in the last video. Oh my gosh. This pond is now like six feet deep. <laughs> wow. So check it out. So we got one of these guys. Oh, the walking catfish. <laughs> And then, now you see why they why they walk why they're called walking catfish. Look at this little guy. Wow. So now these guys are all in the streets, all all over the place, all over the place. It's ridiculous. We got Mega Net. We did catch that one zombie koi. Not too long ago, we did catch that one zombie koi. But it's still alive. Doing good. I just saw him. This is the water that is deep. Not exactly as, as luxurious as driving around in that thing. But not too bad. Try to stay high, babe. I saw some fish when I was doing a recon earlier. Look, there's moving right here. I can't see because the glare is just too strong for even the sunlight. Yes, 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 yes. There's tilapia. Right there, there's a whole school of them. Look at me! Oh my god. Okay, so they can just go right in that deep water. I don't know how on earth I could possibly catch these things, but I want you guys to at least see them. See them moving to the left, babe? Even without the polarization, you see them? Mm -hmm. There's one, two. I don't know, but I can see this one bigger one that's looking right at us right now. Oh, there's something else next to us. I don't know how I could catch it. There's just three of them. There's three of something. But they're literally swimming through the wood. There's no way. There's no way. Oh my gosh. There's no way. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over that way. I think this is a little too deep for your boots. But um, but wish me luck, child. Like baby. Wish me luck, child. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. I'll be back. It looks like the Amazon, doesn't it? Actually, you can you can stop filming with that camera. You might you'll probably be able to see me though over here. I hope whatever pond they had those koi in before, they built a wall around it or something. Because if not, whatever else was in there, it's definitely gone now. Dang, what sucks is if this fence was perfect, they could probably just catch the fish right out of their yard. Unfortunately, there's a lot of holes in their fence. Dang. This is pretty crazy back here. Oh my God, it gets so deep, guys. Oh my God, what am I looking at here? Gotta be careful because there's a lot of alligators and pythons and stuff out here in South Florida. So just keep your eyes open. But man, this is wild over it. And that trench has got to be like five foot deep now. Yeah, look at this. I am not walking over there. That gets so deep. Oh my gosh. Those fish could have swam anywhere. They could literally be in the middle of the street now. Look. Oh man. Oh, they don't even have a fence in the back. No wonder they lost their fish. Maybe they could be swimming the shoreline. I don't know. But they lost. We caught that one koi, that thing was barely alive, but literally almost the next day, we got all this rain, so maybe the other ones are alive. Dang. And we literally just parked the ATV over here. Nope. Dang, that's even deeper. That's gonna be even harder to find. Whatever, oh, that's a little spot. Dang. Dang. It's not a good place to have a pond. <laughs> or a tank or whatever she had out here. I mean, the size of that koi had to be a small pond or something. Yeah, it looks like it got blown over. Probably on the far side. Dang, dude. I don't know. Well, dang, if I see something cool, I'm definitely gonna turn the camera on. Damn. I didn't film it. There was something massive. I think it was a carp. I don't think it was a koi. I didn't see any color patterns on it, but something massive went into the woods over there. That thing better swim out. That thing's gonna be lost in the sauce. Oh my gosh. Look at this, it was just underwater. Look at, the, the fl look at the flower. Look at this poor little thing. Breathe, live, live. See the day. sunlight one more time in the day. Come on, baby. Enjoy. My gosh, yeah, this goes all, to, all the way to the street. This is why they found turtles, fish, eels, everything. Just overnight, flash flood, bomb. But yeah, if we see anything cool, I'm gonna turn you guys back on. I, I saw that big car, but I was too slow. I wanna check out the bottom of that. Cause that thing is really deep. I'm sure fish have just like coagulated in there. But look, this goes all the way to the street. We saw it today, earlier, and then it rained again. We stopped and ate. Hmm. I got both nets, I'm ready to go. Cha cha! <laughs> See? This is so deep on, like right by the right by the fence, they could swim all the way up. And the road is right there and they could swim all the way to the back. I was just back there, that's, this is insane. How deep everything is. But what's weird is I haven't seen any gar. Like I've seen no gar. Last time, that's like all we scooped up. But then again, it was a little bit warmer. Look, look. Just little pockets. See when it gets a little deeper over here? I'm telling you. There's no fence over here, so it could 
literally it could swim right up from the lake right here it's not even it's not even a fence the fence ends like over there I thought I saw a catfish you can literally see minnows too <laughs> they're friends there's a snapping turtle and a catfish literally making out right here I don't even want to catch that thing. They look like they're about to duel. <laughs> look, if they go back, they swim all the way back. I don't even think there's a point of relocating them or anything. They just swam here. Maybe the catfish so it doesn't roast. Let's see. I just checked this earlier this morning. Ah! This morning. Maybe I think the Where turtle already had him. To the street. Bring your battle to the street. I got him. Come on. Damn it. I'm an idiot. Come here. Look, I'm walking my catfish, babe. On this side, come. <laughs> it's not that deep. Look, just walking my catfish down the road. <laughs> this is insane. He's right here. <laughs> this is insane. And that that turtle's right there too. That's wild. We might find some more over there. I don't even know, huh? In yard. Now I'm in the street. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Oh, he just got air too. Go the other way. Maybe we can just make him swim back instead of scooping him. Now I'm in the street. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Oh, he just got air too. Go the other way. Maybe we can just make him swim back instead of scooping him. Don't even have to scoop him, just make him swim back home. Think we can walk him back? Go forth, child. No, off the street. Off the street. Don't even have to scoop and just make him swim back home. Think we can walk him back? Go forth, child. No, off the street. Off the street. We're just pissing this thing off now. They're invasive. You're supposed to kill them, but I'm sure this is one of the ones that we were feeding out in the deeper water. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh! <laughs> this is one of the few fish that I would not catch with my bare hand. See, it's a little deeper over here. <laughs> I wonder why they stopped right in that corner. Oh, it gets a little deeper right here. That's probably what it is. There's a snapping turtle. It's like he's just sitting there. You're good? You want to do a two for one, sir? Oh, I know, I know. What? What? Keep the comments on YouTube, kid. Look, he's going back home. Gone. We're not gonna kill each other in that. Especially if I grab him with me with me bare hands. Come here, child. Come here. As long as you grab him by the tail, they usually can't mess you up too bad look at that big boy oh ooh, he doesn't like that at all have that catfish swim back i don't like putting my hand under underneath them because those claws are just crazy does not like that, is that did the catfish swim back home where the catfish? the catfish is still here let's help the catfish out this guy can walk he'll be fine as long as it doesn't walk into the road actually you know what we'll come back for that net where's the catfish come here sir Come on! Come on. <laughs> Alright. Two for one is special. Don't need a net for that. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Come on. I want this catfish to learn in case we don't see you next time. 
I'd like this catfish to learn in case we don't see next time. See him <laughs> to go back to the deep. So sir, this guy can wait right here. You can walk back from now. He is angry. Yeah, he's busy he's stinky too. But we're gonna release this guy right here in the grass. I hope he goes that direction. Sir. Go ahead. That way. Look, he still wants to go the other way. Wrong way, wrong way. One more time, he will train you. The other way, sir. The other way, other way, other way, other way, other way. I don't know why they want to go that way. Uh-oh. Okay. Other way, sir. Okay. They keep wanting to go back that way. It must be some type of thing. Hello. All right, pull the other way. All right, now let's see. Go the other way towards the deep water, please. Please. All right, I think we're good now for the most part. Swim, child. Swim, go find the other friend. I'm making a U-turn. Yeah. You're like, oh my God, what happened to the yard? He keeps wanting to go back that way. Look at this freaking thing. Look, instead of going back to the deeper water, he wants to be shallow. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at this guy. Sir? This guy. Sir? Go on. Go on. Be gone. Ah! Go towards the deep. No more road. All right. I think we're good with him. Look, he finally figured it out. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, cool. I don't like killing stuff even if they're invasive. I'm not gonna eat them. That's just um, not something I like to do. So, we have one more bad boy. Look at him, turn around. He's like, what is going on? <laughs> I just don't want him to go to the street. That's the only issue I'm having, you know? If we walk to the street, then we run him over with whatever, somebody else. Yeah. Sir. Sir. Come on. Come on. Ready? Giddy up. Giddy up. Come on. Other way. I dare you to put your finger there. Where? In front of his nose. Why would I do that? <laughs> Come on. Buddy. Underlish. Don't bite, it's time to walk. Underneath. Oh! Oh, Jesus. They're fast. It's hiding the tail from me. Not good. Sir, go home. Go home. I've been telling you, go home. Go that way. His breathing canal so funky. What's that? Oh my God, they're so fast. Look, he's eating grass, he's hungry. All right, go that way now. We had the, we had our fun, Mr. Snapper. That's a big snapper too. Oh, oh my Jesus! Ooh. All right, tail time. <laughs> time to go. Time to go, <laughs> Okay. Is that Gucci's bullsh? This is baloney. Get my nice little picture. <sighs> Whoa. I think it's a female. I can't tell, but it might be a female. Look at that thing. Whew. Okay. I think we taught him a lesson enough. Zoom into that. Give me a nice picture of that thing. Oh! <laughs> wow. Now I need to swim away. Swim, child. Away. Just swim away. Swim, child. Away. See, this guy gets it. Just had to tickle him a little bit. <laughs> Who knows what's in that? Those things are in the street. I saw tilapia, turtles, carp. I didn't get it on, on the footage, I don't think. You know what? That canal back there, we really need to check that canal. It's crazy that this all happened like overnight. I can stand another like 
three feet though, so I should be good. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. I'm still good. I'm still <laughs> good. Uh, look. <laughs> my top, tip of my finger is eight feet. It's gonna be tough. We're gonna have to dig this thing. I think we just need to get a bulldozer or something because we need to do it quick. Get him up. Woo! Get him up. Woo! 